So I'm walking around Trader Joe's right now and I'm just thinking and I finally have come to the realization I am absolutely screwed the next time a recession comes. Absolutely screwed the next time a recession comes. I am going to go from making a lot of money to like very little very quickly guys. I am so freaking screwed it's unbelievable. Think about this like and, and I've kind of thought about this a little bit but I don't think it's really hit me till I was walking around Trader Joe's right now. So what, what, how, how, you know, how do I make money? Well, I make money from my real estate marketing company. I take photos, I do videos for customers that are, homes are going up for sale, things like that. It's one of my income streams. I have another income stream, which is YouTube, YouTube ads. <clears throat> I have another income stream, which is my book. I have another income stream, which is Amazon affiliate links, which show up in all my videos, right? So I really have four true different income streams and I got a little sub context of all of those, right? I am so screwed the next time a big recession comes. Think about my real estate marketing company. Who is gonna pay me to go out and take photos of home? Who's even gonna wanna sell their home first off? Is say when foreclosures happen, banks, when banks own a home, they don't call in professional photographers to take photos of those homes. They don't call in professional uh, photographers to go take drone photos and videos of those homes, guys. They just, uh, just put them online, put them in the auction, and that's it. If somebody actually is selling their home, the realtor is not going to call me up because the realtors will all probably be broke at that time too, right? Because there's no houses moving. So they're just going to do whatever they have to do to get the pictures on Zillow or whatever. They'll just take them with their camera or whatever. They're sure as shit not going to be doing extra projects like extra videos, drone pictures, like a lot of the upgrades I sell, right? So that's going to, that, like my income is going to go on that, like could drop 80, 90% during a recession, right? I have a few customers that are doing so well that even if a recession came, like they would still be doing good enough to have me, you know, doing projects for them. But that's only maybe 20% of my customers, right? So let's say 80% of my revenue falls from that business. YouTube, let's talk about YouTube. It's great. The channel's growing. I mean, the channel's grown every single month ever as far as views, as far as subscribers, as far as the money coming in. Like it's done nothing but grow every single day. Well, not every single day, technically. I guess you could say every single month since the channel started, right? Great. That's phenomenal. Problem is, as soon, well, basically, as soon as a recession happens, the channel views are going to go, which if the channel views go like that, you know what else goes like that? The Amazon affiliate links I have in there, book sales, modern long-term stock market investing secrets. You think many people are gonna wanna buy that book when the stock market's crashing? <laughs> Hell no, people aren't gonna wanna buy that book. They're not even gonna care. I'm so screwed guys, I am so freaking screwed. And you can say, well Jeremy, you look at, you got over 50,000 subscribers and you'll probably be at 100,000 in six months. That's great, that's a, that's a phenomenal number and the views and all that. But here's the thing guys, I've been tracking this. I track how, view, how views go on days when the market goes down quite a bit. And what I have found, days in which the market goes down more than 1%, one of the indices is either the NASDAQ, S&P, Dow, and yeah, I know this is crazy deep research I do, right? I've tracked that. Views on the channel go down 30 plus percent on those days versus a day when the market goes up over 1%. Because when the market's doing good, when there's good publicity coming out about market, oh, stock market at all time highs, a lot of people see that type of stuff, they start looking in the stock market. So all the backlog videos, right? The stock market for beginners, the top five stock market tips, like all those videos, like, uh, you know, even passive income videos, all those all get huge bumps up and they all get tons more views. Days when the market's doing bad or whatever, I know it's, it's, it's factual, it's factual, it's not my opinion, it's based upon the numbers I track, it's proof in the pudding that views go down quite a bit and I'm not talking about the view video I come out with that day. I'm not talking about the video I come out with that day, I'm talking about the back catalog of videos that show up in search, popular search term, stock market related, those ones get hammered. So although, you know, I got 50 plus thousand subscribers, I only really have two to 4,000 that are loyal, that really watch every single video that are into the channel. I count on a massive amount of people who aren't necessarily super loyal subscribers to really make the ends meet for the channel. So, I mean, if you know, you wiped out all those, those extra views I get from people that aren't subscribed, from people, which by the way, about 50% of the views on the channel come from people that aren't subscribed. If we wiped out that, and we wiped out a lot of the you know, people that you know, might watch one of my videos once every two weeks or three weeks, 
Then we're talking about, you know, maybe my revenue is 30% or whatever it is. Maybe it's 20%. What is that going to add up to, guys? We already talked about the book sales. We already talked about Amazon affiliate links. Like, the more views a channel gets, especially on those back videos, the more people look in the description and click on some of my favorite uh, Amazon links in there. Like, I have this book linked. I have some of my other favorite books, some of my favorite stock market movies linked in that description. Those are going to go down, guys. So, <laughs> we're looking at a situation where... I might be screwed big time when a recession comes. Now, another thing, another thing, and then, then we'll talk about how I'm you know, starting to prepare for whenever this set has happened. And who knows when the next recession comes? I don't even know. Like I'm in the market as much as anybody. Like I'm in the business community as much as anybody, and I don't know if it's six months from now, six years from now, six weeks from now. I don't know, guys. I really don't, but I do know I need to get prepared for this. So, and another thing, guys, another thing, okay. So stock market, me as an investor, I know, I have a ton of knowledge about the stock market, obviously. I've been in the market for nine years now, but I have never participated in a true bear market. I've never participated in a stock market crash scenario. I don't know for sure if I'm gonna be able to navigate that and handle that as well as I can. I know a ton of stuff, but I haven't proven, I haven't proven to myself yet that I can handle a stock market crash, I can handle a bear market, guys, because I haven't had, a, I got in the market in 2009 when everything was still crashing, but I was just starting to invest. So that does not count. If I started in 2007 and I navigated it, you know, when I went through 2008, I went through 2009, I was just paying attention then. I was just starting to pay attention and look at things, but I wasn't actually in the market. So it's like somebody studying basketball, right? You can study basketball all you want, but the question is, can you go execute it on the court? Can you go shoot those shots? So who's to say I'm even gonna be able to um, successfully navigate through a recession, successfully navigate through a bear market, a stock market crash, guys? That's a big worry for me. I think I can, but I don't know I can yet because I haven't proven it. I've proven I can thrive in a, in a bull market. I've proven I can thrive in a good stock market, but can I thrive in a bad one? Because you can absolutely make a lot of money, sometimes even more money than a, you can make in a bear market than a bull market. Question is, am I gonna be able to navigate that correctly? It's a big question, guys. So how am I gonna you know, get through all this? Well, one way, and you know, like I said, I'm just starting to think about this stuff now. One way is uh, basically this fall, I had a book coming that was around just entrepreneurship. It was just around entrepreneurship. Like I've done all the layout for it and whatnot. I even wrote the first chapter on it. Like, you know, I was gonna work on it all summer into the fall and that I'm just pushing toward the side now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write a full book on exactly businesses you can start, ways you can make money, things you can do in the stock market. There's a ton of opportunity in recession. Sometimes there's more opportunity to make money in a recession, believe it or not, and I know this sounds freaking idiotic, right? Especially if you've never heard something like this. There's more opportunity during a recession to make money than any other time, guys. Because guess what almost, well, guess what always happens? Things bounce back. So the, you've got to take advantage of it when these type of situations happen. When stocks are dropping, you've got you've to know how to navigate that. You've got to know how to do put options. So I'm going to write a full book all about this kind of stuff. And this book is not just for me to sell to my subscribers, but this book will be a book that when that day happens, I'm gonna start advertising this book like crazy on Facebook ads, YouTube ads, Snapchat ads, like I'll do anything to advertise this book. And guess what? The ad rates will be really cheap then. And if I'm selling, a, you know, if I'm making, you know, let's say I release it for 10 bucks like I did this book, right? If I'm making seven buck profit, I can do so many ads, especially at that time when ad rates will be lower that I can get the word out about the book like crazy and I can get at least, you know, let's say 0.1% of the people to buy it or maybe even 1% of the people that see the commercials, guys. So that is definitely, definitely a way I'm gonna help navigate this is coming out with a book all around that because that's actually a book people would buy because it's like, you know, when I would have to think of a smart title, let me know in the comment section if you guys have some smart titles, but I'm thinking like something like how to make money during a bad recession or, you know, 
uh, you know, how to navigate a recession, like something like that. Like I'm thinking, but I need a better title than that. I need something more catchy. So if you guys have something, but that's the premise of the book. And I'm talking everything in this book. I'm talking about how to take advantage of real estate. I'm talking about how to take advantage of stocks. I'm talking about taking advantage of put options, short, short selling. Like I'm talking about such an in-depth book. I'm talking about passive income ways you can specifically do during a recession scenario. Like there's so much opportunity, right? Oh, oh, this book I'm talking about, that's a big opportunity, right? Like doing something around how to make money during a recession, like all these ideas, guys. And that's all gonna be in one book. So I gotta think about a good title for that. And so that book is now, that book needs to basically become my second priority. My first priority is the YouTube channel, right? My bread and butter. But that, that book, I need to focus on that over the next few months as my number two most important thing that I'm doing over even my real estate company, over my real estate company. That book needs to be my focus. So I think I'm doing this video not just for people to watch and kind of pay attention to, but I think I'm doing this video for myself so I can go back and watch it. And one night when I don't feel like writing the book, I'm like, dude, don't remember the feeling you had because it's a little, little anxiety, right guys? So anyways, that's all I got to say. Uh, I wasn't planning on recording a video until you know tomorrow's four stocks on buying July video comes out, but I, this just hit me and I'm like, I gotta, I gotta freaking navigate this, man. I gotta figure it out because I don't wanna be, <sighs> I don't wanna be broke. <laughs> so anyways, hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day.